How's it going everybody? My name is Jake. And I'm Chris. And this is Dude Ranch DIY. We are out here in the wood yard on what turned out to be a pretty beautiful day. This morning it started out about like 35, 37 yeah. degrees. And I think now we're up to about like 70, 72 maybe. Um, and we're gonna take advantage of the day. We got something to go do in a little bit, um, but we have a couple hours and we got a lot of wood to both split and cut. Well, eventually it'll all get split, but let me show you. So I didn't really film it just because I needed to get it done, but all of this wood I cut up in about three afternoons after work by myself. Uh, it probably took me about a total of, I don't know, maybe three hours, I'd say. Um, I was using the excavator and I was shuttling the logs over with the tractor and all of this wood was the old log pile. If you guys have been following along, we started a new log pile, which is a lot closer to where we do the cutting, but we had an old log pile. The old log pile used to be in this general area out here, but it was just over a little bit more. Um, and it had started at one point way down there, but we, you know, cut and split all that wood. And it was starting to create a, a, a you know, a, a blockade basically, because I couldn't keep adding to my new log pile. You know, all of this stuff will be splitting over the summer and into next winter. So we want to amass a nice big pile, um, which we now have, as you can see, plenty of room to do. Uh, so that is what all of that wood is over there. Got Chris here, so uh, we should be able to move along pretty swiftly. What what do you what are you yeah. thinking? I, I think it should move pretty quickly and uh, efficiently. Hopefully, um, we don't usually have this kind of stockpile and no logs to cut because the stockpile is too big. Right. Having two people running the this splitter. Seems like overkill, but it could be a little bit more efficient, so we'll, we'll find out. Yeah, this Easton made 2228 with the attached conveyor, and we're running the seven-way pizza box wedge because that's the size wood that our customers like. Um, we convey into four totes at a time off grizzly bars, so even though it really only takes one person to split, this machine is so fast that you really need a second person helping to run the rounds over and push them over to the log lift. And then because we're filling four totes at a time, we like to try and maximize the amount of wood that we get in each tote. So, you know, once they start getting about half full, that's when one person will come over with the hook -a -roon and kind of level out all the totes so that they can continue filling up evenly. That way, you know, two totes aren't full and two totes are empty. Um, we like to swap out all four totes at a time and the, we've just found that by having two or even three people, we're able to do it a lot more efficiently um, because the one person can be feeding the rounds to the splitter one guy can be splitting and you know that that other person can be you know dealing dealing with the totes so uh we're gonna stop talking here get to splitting All right, and just like that, we are reset. And I can fire up the splitter, and as I'm splitting the first few rounds, Chris will be able to hop on the tractor and take the totes over there to their final resting spot and label them with the date and the species and everything. You kinda kill two birds with one stone that way. Another reason why it's helpful to have splitting buddy. All right, we're gonna fire up the machine, get going here.
starting to make a dent in the pile. We are about 31 minutes in, and we're more or less a quarter to a half the way full in the front two totes. And these back two, we're close to half to three quarter full. And uh, we're building up kind of a cone up here that's allowing more wood to go to the front totes and start filling those up. Once they're all about even, I'll start moving some of this cone back into the front totes and hopefully fill them all up. That way we, we're not just taking out these two and leaving these two, putting two fresh ones in that place. But we're doing pretty good. Nice little dent, we've got some wiggle room. Okay guys, that was super fast. As you can see behind us, we have four full totes, three large totes and, or no, two, two, large, two, two large totes and two small totes. We started at 4.02, it is now 4.52. So that took us exactly 50 minutes. Now granted, they weren't four large totes, we'd probably use that extra, you know, 10 minutes to fill up the, the the extra space in the large totes, but that went super fast. And I mean, with two people who know what they're doing, I don't have to tell Chris what to do. He doesn't have to tell me what, you know, we, we just kind of work well together, obviously, after 475 videos or whatever we've done <laughs> together, we kind of know what we're doing. Um, but two people, obviously, is a big help, right? Oh, huge help. Th this machine in and of itself is another person so having somebody operating, have this caliber of a machine and a second body to help move things around and keep that splitter fed, keep everything that's coming off of that splitter nice, neat, and tidy, it, it goes a really long way. Yeah, I mean, if we had more space here and more help, you could arrange an operation around this Eastamade with the attached conveyor to where if you were splitting into totes and you had enough manpower and equipment, you wouldn't have to stop the machine. You, I'm sure you could, while the machine was running, swap out full totes, replace them with empty totes. Yeah, a couple pieces might fall down on the ground or something, but you have that extra person that when they're not swapping out the totes, they could be picking up those pieces that fell. So you're really scrambling to keep up with this, this machine just because it's so fast. Now, another thing I want to note is even though this machine is so fast, it produces really nice pieces of wood. You know, that piece is probably three inches across. Again, three inches across. This piece, maybe a little bit smaller. And then occasionally you will get some larger pieces like this, and my customers absolutely love it. Now, obviously we have custom grizzly bars and, you know, every good machine has to have some sort of downside and the Eastamade 2228 or I think really any box wedge style splitter makes a lot of scrap. So this tote was completely empty, right? You swapped yeah. it out. Yeah. I don't know if you got right. that on camera. 
I don't think so. But fresh uh, grizzly bar tote and very little debris underneath the splitter itself. Yeah, the the this uh, tote under the conveyor had a little bit of debris in it. This one underneath the splitting chamber had absolutely none. I put a fresh one in, and that's what we created. But that's in 50 minutes filling up four totes. You can't really beat that. So this is the dent that we put in the pile. As you guys saw in the beginning, it was up. The log lift was loaded and it, all the rounds were right up against the machine. So we put a good dent in it. Now we can use the excavator in the future to push the pile forward. That way we don't have to drag or roll the rounds quite as far. And uh, you know, just make it easier on ourselves because we're all about you know, ergonomics and productivity. So I don't know if you guys were able to hear me when Chris was filming as the splitter was running, but I was talking about this little extra, like one inch piece of wedge that sticks out of the top of the box wedge. Now, I don't know if other manufacturers have that or not. I'll have to look um, in between filming this and editing it and check, but this little piece works awesome for when you have rounds about this size, you know, eight, 10 inches in size because you can put it through and it essentially makes it a four-way wedge because those two pieces will split out the bottom and then this little bit of wedge on the top will split that last little two to three inch thick piece into two more pieces and it saves you a cycle on the machine. So I'm calling that the Easton Made Box Wedge Hidden Feature. So guys, I think that's gonna wrap this one up. Chris and I have somewhere to go. Um, we actually have to go try and repair a little chain link fence. I don't know if you guys saw that video where we were taking down the trees with the spider lift over the tennis court, but apparently there's a little dent in the chain link fence and it was a new chain link fence, so I feel really bad about it. Um, normally if something goes wrong on a job, I'm the first to call up the homeowner, you know, when everything's said and done and let them know. I did not notice it because we focused on those trees first and then went to the other side of the property. So it's my fault. Hopefully Chris and I are gonna go back bend it back by hand and you know all will be good and we'll get a nice little paycheck. Um, but that's gonna wrap it up for this one. You guys will notice it's spring. I'm wearing my new Heatwave visual sunglasses. They sent me another pair. Guys, these might make you look like Randy Savage, the pro wrestler. But you know what? I don't care because they're functional. If you guys know, I have had some eye problems. I've had two eye surgeries within the last year on my right eye. I had a scratched cornea from a branch that whipped my glasses off my face. Not heat wave visuals. They ripped them off my face, scratched my cornea. These heat wave visuals are ANSI Z87 approved. They're polarized and they hug your face. They're not... They're not falling down here. So I will post a link down in the description. I believe the promo code is Dude Ranch 10 Go check out Heatwave Visual. Don't worry about what you look like. As long as you still have both eyes, you'll be able to see what you look like at the end of the day. As always, guys, if you like the video, give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, click that subscribe button down below. Questions, comments, feedback, put it in the comments section. But for now, I'm Jake. And I'm Chris. This is Dude Ranch DIY. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you here next time.